The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoy Fort, Chapter 6 e. I suppose sometimes deep sea fishes have their noses bumped by cinders. If their regions be subject to cunard or white star roots, they are especially likely to be bumped. I conceive of no inquiry. They are deep sea fishes, or the slag of slains, that it was a furnace product. The Reverend James Rust seemed to feel bumped. He tried in vain to arouse inquiry. As to a report, from Chicago, April 9, 1879, that slag had fallen from the sky, Professor E.S. Bastian, American Journal of Science, Series 3, Volume 18, page 78, says that the slag had been on the ground in the first place. It was furnace slag. A chemical examination of the specimens has shown they possess none of the characteristics of true meteorites. Over and over and over again, the universal delusion, hope and despair of attempted positivism, that there can be real criteria, or distinct characteristics of anything, if anybody can define, not merely suppose, like Professor Bastian, that he can define, the true characteristics of anything, or so localize trueness anywhere, he makes the discovery for which the cosmos is laboring, he will be instantly translated, like Elijah into the positive absolute, my own notion is that, in a moment of super-concentration, Elijah became so nearly a real prophet that he was translated to heaven, or to the positive absolute, with such velocity that he left an incandescent train behind him. As we go along, we shall find the true test of meteoric material, which in the past has been taken as an absolute, dissolving into almost utmost nebulosity. Professor Bastian explains mechanically, or in terms of the usual reflexes to all reports of unwelcome substances, that near where the slag had been found, telegraph wires had been struck by lightning, that particles of melted wire had been seen to fall near the slag, which had been on the ground in the first place. But, according to the New York Times, April 14, 1879, about two bushels of this substance had fallen. Something that was said to have fallen at Darmstadt, June 7, 1846, listed by Gregg, Report of the British Association, 1867, page 416, as only a slag. Philosophical Magazine, Series 4, Volume 10, page 381, that, in 1855, a large stone was found far in the interior of a tree in Battersea Fields. Sometimes cannonballs are found embedded in trees. Doesn't seem to be anything to discuss, doesn't seem discussable that anyone would cut a hole in a tree and hide a cannonball, which one could take to bed, and hide under one's pillow, just as easily. So with the stone of Battersea Fields, what is there to say, except that it fell with high velocity and embedded in the tree? Nevertheless, there was a great deal of discussion. Because, at the foot of the tree, as if broken off the stone, fragments of slag were found. I have nine other instances. Slag and cinders and ashes, and you won't believe, and neither will I, that they came from the furnaces of asterial superconstructions. We'll see what looks acceptable.